gaze into our future to witness a medical revolution. We're on the cusp of unleashing long hidden secrets buried deep in our DNA. This is the ultimate genetic crystal ball. DNA sequencing, it's a profound game changer. Visionary technology now promises to end deadly diseases and gives us the key to immortality itself. We knew that there was a way to intervene with aging at the genetic level. DNA can absolutely help feed and heal this world across the board. Spectacular new discoveries are revealing the true power of our genes. This is DNA, the next wave. Scientists are using DNA to map out a new genetic world. In this scientific field of dreams, Dr. Cynthia Kenyon is attempting to bring what once was science fiction into reality. The fountain of youth. Different species age at really different rates. And different species are different because they have different genes. So there's something in the genes that can affect the rate of aging. And what is it? In her labs at the University of California, she's using genetic technology to change the very course of human evolution. So it seemed to me that it was possible that there was something in us like a little dial. You turn it up and you age fast. Turn it down and you age more slowly. Maybe even further down you age like a turtle, which is very, very slowly. This revolution is not just limited to a secret group of elite academics. Now it's happening in the world of private enterprise, propelling this technology directly onto the mass market for everyone to access. Every health issue we're destined to encounter can be detected and cured. What we really want to do is make sequencing affordable and commonplace so that we can use this to inform and extend everybody's life. Scientists in the private sector are now using this new era of genetic wisdom to better understand our DNA. Your predisposition to, to certain diseases are determined by your DNA. It doesn't necessarily mean fate, um, but it can set the boundaries of what your potential is. Riding on the wave of a scientific revolution, both the academic world and commercial labs agree on one critical point. We are now masters of our own genetic destiny. Your DNA code can tell us whether you're predisposed to common diseases. And if those diseases ever manifest themselves, we can know why. By taking a genetic sample, scientists can read or sequence our personal genetic code. DNA is the key software in our body that tells us how to grow and function. All of your genetic material is stored in your DNA, and you have DNA in nearly every cell of your body. If I were to have a lot of DNA in a test tube, and I was to stick a glass rod into that test tube and pull it up, it would look like a really long, clear string. Through deconstructing the complex strings of DNA codes, we can spot corrupted or mutated chemical letters. These mutations are the cause of many health problems we encounter in the future. As we consider the implications of this new wave of DNA technology, science is tempting us with the promise of another medical breakthrough. Superhuman life. A race to a new genetic frontier has started. Scientists are finding innovative approaches to gene expression profiling. Gene expression is, in science, is how a gene functions. When you activate a gene, it will make a protein. Gene expression is related to whether that particular gene is activated or inactivated, if you will, to make less protein. 
Academic institutions and privately funded labs are harnessing the huge potential of this science. The human genome is the bulk of life. And we have finally been able to understand what is written in this book of life. And these breakthroughs are powering us towards a once impossible goal, identifying the sources of aging. What we are trying to see now is whether we can actually slow down the aging process in such a way so that these age-related diseases don't happen early on. We are trying to delay the onset of these diseases as much as possible. I experienced in my lifetime uh, the death of my father about three years ago. He never had a good quality of life for 10 years before his death. And I began to wonder, can a person maintain an optimal quality of life throughout his or her lifespan? In these commercial labs, Dr. Chang is searching for a way his company can restore our bodies to a more youthful setting. Through our scientific studies and to our research, we are beginning to understand there are certain groups of genes that are very important in aging. Instead of just talking about groups of genes, we thought by coining a term such as youth gene clusters, it would give a better definition of what we're trying to do in our research. Within the clusters, he is looking for genes that regulate aging. If you somehow change the gene expression profile of youth gene clusters, it has either a positive or a negative impact on biological aging. He becomes interested in youth gene clusters related to mitochondria, tiny structures in our cells. These are miniature motors that fuel our bodies, maintaining our energy levels from cradle to grave. Yeah, the mitochondria, like the battery, does drain over time if we don't recharge the, the mitochondria battery, we won't have the energy uh, needed to run the cell. And if the mitochondria doesn't function optimally, then these early signs of aging begin to appear. Advancements in science enable Dr. Chang to probe at DNA's frontier. He's trying to restore mitochondrial function using gene expression technology. So when we talk about resetting, we're not talking about structurally changing these genes. We are really resetting the activity or the gene expression profile of age-related genes. We are beginning to understand there is a certain gene expression profile that exists when you were in a very youthful state. But as you age over time, that gene expression profile changes. We want to make sure that a gene expression profile stays as close as possible to what you had when you were a 20-year-old. On the other side of the world, partnering with Dr. Chang at a sister lab is Dr. Josh Zhu. He's using his knowledge of the natural world to battle aging with the most unusual of ingredients. The scientist believes that he is getting close to discovering the key to resetting mitochondrial gene expression with the help of a fungus called Cordyceps sinensis. Cordyceps sinensis is a fungal product, a natural product. It's just similar to any kind of a mushroom. But this is no ordinary fungus. In the wild, it grows on the heads of live caterpillars from a range of remote mountains in Tibet. After years of correctly, years of correctly formulating the right blend through a fermentation process, Dr. Su is ready to take Cordyceps sinensis out of the lab and begin observational studies to discover its true power. His studies have found that after taking Cordyceps sinensis, their exercise performance capability improved. Cordyceps sinensis shortened recovery period and improved cardiovascular function. Cordyceps sinensis drastically heightens endurance and energy metabolism and fights fatigue. The results indicate that Cordyceps sinensis could potentially counteract the strains of daily life that lead to aging. 
we can see a cordyceps synthesis. Not really just an extended lifespan, but a healthy lifespan. We proved cordyceps synthesis is really anti-aging herb. Dr. Zhu's cordyceps sinensis research is added to other blended ingredients to create Dr. Chang's anti-aging compound. This is the first time ever where some of these natural ingredients by using modern scientific methods to demonstrate that it can actually extend lifespan. Scientific experiments at academic and commercial labs show that our genes do not control our fate. Our research is beginning to reveal the reality that the aging process is most likely a symphony that is being played in the body. And in order to play that symphony extremely well, you need an orchestra of genes being somewhat uh, cooperating with each other to make sure that the aging symphony doesn't get out of tune. What we're trying to do at LifeGen is to identify nutrients that have this ability of caloric restriction to change the activity of genes in a way that will slow down the aging process. So individual nutrients may have on their own mild effects, but when combined, we hope to find mixtures of nutrients that are going to have a much stronger effect. I like to think that one day all of us can actually die healthy. Not containing instructions for proteins may actually hold key clues to how cells, tissues, and organs behave. The frontiers of genetic science could be rewritten. But for now, through genetic mapping, we are opening up a safer world where we can live healthier lives and cure illnesses that were once deadly. DNA sequencing is being used real for, to solve real world problems today. As we map out our future, we are now discovering genes do not govern our fate. The future is DNA.